Thank you for joining us. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Javi Palanya and Mika Abisamis. Javi, Mika mentioned that there's no doubt in Manipal City and we see that BJ Pakaliwangan is getting the start for the white shirts as Paul Sanga makes his first three-pointer. And about the potential leadership by Pakaliwangan because that is already a part of his natural identity being a leader to his teammates. But speaking of natural identity, go into the zone, there's a lot of help coming on the low block as you see this three-point shot by Paul Sanga. Fans attempts have come from downtown. Lahat tanggalin kay Paul Sanga. He is two out of three so far. Pass, turnover. Kabanak, forward he goes. Paul Sanga for the easy layup. Now this is not a good start as Congressman Eric Martinez calls a timeout here. Fortunately for the white shirts, with the loss of Daryl Maligas in this ball game, they have also needed to sub out BJ Pagkaliwangan because of that previous first two points of Val City. Oh, we hope it's nothing serious yung nangyari kay BJ Pagkaliwangan, but it seems that after that hit from John Lee Balin, natamaan pa yung ulo niya three minutes into this game. So two threes have come, or make that three threes off of attempts from Paul Sanga. So this season has been very efficient, 51.4% from the field, and he's doing it not just from inside, he's getting a lot. Because they're more difficult because they don't have the big names, they don't have the stars, they don't have the experience. But because you set your mind out of difference already. Well, speaking of big names, there's Gabby Espina scoring his first two points in the ball game. He is an old school coach and old school play in basketball is really to dump it in the post and then make your post player make something happen. So, Suerte Rena Martin against two defenders. Martin is blocked by Gabby Espinas. That's Jaggi Laude and Joho Tayuktong as you get to see that block by Gabby Espinas. It was perimeter centric ngayon. Post centric naman yung kanilang sistema. Jaggi Laude, good pass inside to Joho Tayuktong. Score now is 19 to 8. 3 minutes and 20 in the opening quarter. Byron C, you did mention. And we go. Joko Tayong Tong against Mike Mashon. He escapes the defense and he lays it in. Transition, they will definitely go for the cup. Tayong Tong was part of that season 2 Quezon City team. Run and gun at that. On to Mel Mabigan. 9 on the shot clock. They go back to Diego. His turn to fire and he makes it. The post up. So we can wait for that. Right now we see that jumper. From Jerry Diego, who qualifies as one of the more the modern big men. Now has eight points, which means he is 16 points away. And Abi Palanya and Mika Abisamis. VJ Pagkaliwangan fires and scores as we take a look at the first score in the field goal shooting. 37% para sa Valenzuela. Here's Irvin Palencia. Forward pass. That was a good screen by Jun Bon Supre. Toko Tayong Tong. Very subtly. Just like a drill. Val City is also shooting the ball at a poor 26% as VJ. And stay away from the paint. At nakwento niyo yung relationship niya kay Arwin Santos. They apparently are very close. Uh, that movement of. VJ Pagkaliwangan, great for Mika to report about that. A lot of information in that report by Mika. As you get to see a three-pointer from Kasin. It's like Marikina last year, we're able to get some big victories no, over big... By the way, that 2-3 zone against Caloacan as they score inside courtesy of Gabby Espina. There's been a couple of drop passes in this game from Caloacan. That time around, Joko finds Gabby. And when you are not able to rotate well and communicate to your others, Matt, Mal Matt, Matt Makalintal, who oh. was also one of his assistants during that time with Davao. Hachi Inigo, inside, he goes. That's a beautiful pass onto Gabby Espinas. When you're caught seeing a lot of def defenses throughout his career, a lot of variations on that zone. So whatever you put down on him, he'll be waiting for you to... Separate the baseline, flashing middle, going down low. DJ Pagkaliwangan, Alan Martin, and this guy, Mel Mabigat, who now makes a signal. Mm -hmm. Guessing, para naman magkaroon sila ng opportunities to try and go inside and maybe kick it out and attack the lanes. Paul Sanga now makes his third three point. At the same time, also had that back to the basket game. Ooh! <laughs> Johnny Balin with a gimme. I understood why Mike Mashon, no, that. The back to the basket game, that's something that he has to work on. He hasn't really displayed a lot of that here this season in his short stint that he's had 
42-31. Manalang surveying. Bounce pass. Easy layup for Gabby Espinas. Tips. And then moving on over to the PBA. Winning championships as well. And that's because of the hard work that he's put in day in, day out. Doesn't throw defense from 2-3. They go 3-2. Jerk Diego hanging in the air. That's basket and one. There's that energy. The... Valenzuela offense at that time para makabuela and you see there Jeric Diego just had enough space in there's Jeric Diego who gets blocked this time around it's only Valen you have to remain aggressive you can't get phased by those bigot 44-34 Diego one-hander yes see how fast he is bounce pass to Diego flashy at that beautiful play by Val City we were mentioning during the to the right people you saw there Jerick Jago getting just the pass at the right moment and going up. Venezuela is very much in this game. Jennifer Cabana, three pointer is good. Always love point shot. That's Cabana's third three pointer. He's up to nine points. Jerick Diego's red hot. Ball Sang on the other end. That's back to back three pointers. Very top that three point shot. And they're at Chinigo finding Paul Sanga in almost the same area to knock down another three-point shot for Kalohan. Same guy, close down. Yes. They definitely are one of the teams that could go there. And right now, Kalohan has to handle Val City. And speaking of handling Val City, Paul Sanga is now three-point shooting of Kalohan. Rekindling itself here in the third quarter, courtesy of Paul Sanga and Jeremy Cabana. Jeric Diego returns. He already has nine points in this quarter. Sagut naman ay si Paul Sanga, who has six in this quarter. And Omar Gonzalez. Lasco. They go to Tateshi, the biggest guy on the court. Was that an intended alley -oop? Well, it still worked for Val City. The third quarter, Kasin to answer back. To no avail. Rebound, Tayong Tong. That's a good dribble move inside. Everybody from on the right side to be able to grab that offensive rebound. See right there. Everybody was on the left side. Jen Rivera couldn't cover Tayong Tong because he was... They go back to Deshi who fires. Oh, he makes it! Back-to-back -back three pointers for Satomo Tateshi to end the third quarter. Into the fourth quarter. We just mentioned this guy could have a very high ceiling here in the MVPL. But then... to do extra drills of shooting besides the conditioning he also wants to basketball he is not looking to pass at all he has his eyes set on the basket and that oh, provides us numbers for Val City Pagkaliwangan layup is good great hesitation to fool the defense Okan is not yet out of the woods Neil Cervantes has an answer to that as he steps back and he makes that jump shot you have to remember the fact that a couple of years before, Cervantes was one of the leading scorers of the league. And how about Sutomo Tateshi who continues to score? Off the floater by VJ Pagkaliwang and Ronnie Matias tried to jump after that challenge. Missed time. Block Alan Martin against Cabana. Tough shot. Oh, he makes it! Side And that time, Alan Martin was the one to be able to hit that difficult shot. Five points now for Alan Martin, but escape. And still, he continues to put in the right attitude. That is something that the younger players should look up to. Kabanak, escaping to D, going to Gabi. Corner three-pointer, he makes it. Oh, wow. Did not expect that coming from Gabi Espinas. He has Irvin Palencia and Paul Sanga for Batang Kankalu. Here Cervantes pounding his way through and he scores inside. They're shooting perfect from the field or at the high clip. That's a good point. As Gabi Espinas scores inside in this ballgame. Here's Alan Martin on the drive and pass to Michael Mason who scores inside. Inside. Sorry, miss. One more try. Yes. If they Suela will still definitely have a chance of winning in this game. 17 points now for Michael Mason. Gabby Espinas. That could have been biscuits. Pagkaliwangan on to Jeric Diego, who was hot for them in the third quarter. He makes that shot. Been a while since he's knocked down by Paul Sanga. And that's leading by example once again. That ball could have 
sailed out of bounds onto the other side but Paul Sanga's final nail in the coffin here para sa Kalokan. 13 points for Jennifer Cabana. It's him and Paul Sanga who have Val City with possession here. Mel Mabiga scores inside. Able to really play hard and hope that things work well for you. That's what Kalokan just did. So we can't blame these players. We're still trying. Michael Mashon scores inside. Five, five seconds to go. This should be it. Pagkaliwa, he even tried to foul that.